Nah, bro. What the? What up, Aquaman's gang? It's your boy Ken. I'm back again with another banger video for y'all. In this video, we haven't take care of yourselves. I hope you've been doing your meditation, saying your affirmations, doing what you gotta do to take care of yourself. Because you do remember you are a temporary, you do remember you are a spiritual being having a temporary human experience, right? So, so if y'all can't tell, it's early in the fucking morning. I can't even speak right. I even probably look like I just woke up. Beamer, fuck you talking about. Um, it's like seven in the morning right now. Uh, I'm at my aunt's house and shit. We south, we south with it. Um, and basically, we just got up. We finna go get this van. And we finna drive all the way to Nashville, Tennessee. That's basically what this vlog is finna be. A road trip, get to Tennessee, I'm gonna get some clips and I'm there. I'm gonna drop some videos of what we'll be doing. Just, just basically just finna be like, a, I'm finna vlog it, all right? I know y'all gonna wanna see, y'all probably gonna fuck with it. Y'all fuck with the last vlog heavy, so. You know what I mean? Run this bitch up. I appreciate all the support. If you do the channel, make sure you like, subscribe. We going up, all right? This is the squad over here. We do, we talk about manifestations, spiritual stuff. We, I post vlogs, Q and A's. Just, it's a pretty versatile channel if you haven't, if you couldn't tell already. I'm, I'm just kind of all over the place right now, but this is just who I am. I'm a natural artistic person and I'm just expressing myself through my YouTube, through my content. And I just hope y'all rock with it. Um. But yeah, we probably finna go get some breakfast and stuff, go get the van and just get situated. I'll hit y'all and see y'all on the road. We have officially made it to Tennessee. A seven hour drive. It was seven hours, my nigga. I mean, to y'all, it probably was like that, but finally here. It's a big relief. I don't really know. I'm going to really just go, you go, we're checking in. They're checking in right there up there. I'm hearing some family and shit. They're checking in right now. Um, but yeah, we gonna, we gonna get our, we finna get our room and stuff in there. I'm gonna go grab myself out the car and get my shit situated. See what the word is. I would not lie though. This is not much needed. It's not my first time being in Tennessee. This is like my second. Yeah, this is my second time being here. Last time I was there, we was at like this resort, this water park. It was super chill, super crazy, but it's a vibe, you know. I ain't gonna lie. I would we definitely move down here. Um, hey, uh, you work here? Are you a, yeah. um, you know they got an indoor pool? Nah, it's just outside. Just outside? Yeah. No hot tub, none of that shit? Nah. Damn. <laughs> All right, good yeah, look, man. Yeah, well, there's no pool in the indoor. We gotta go outside. Shit. Well, at least they, at least they got a pool. I mean, fuck it, but, um, I got some. Just get in a pool, probably. I'm gonna think about it because I really don't want to get my dress wet. I think I bring a swim cap. So, we're gonna jump to see. We're going to see. What up, Alchemist Game? It's a new day. I can't tell. It's a new day because yesterday we were just tired. You know, he's on a road trip. We had to relax. You know what I mean? I blew my gas. We had a good night. We were chilling. But today's a new day, which means this is going to be where I'm gonna be vlogging some content. For y'all, getting y'all some clips. I don't really know what we're really doing, but we definitely gonna get some clips for y'all today. But right now, right now it's like what nine in the morning. I think I'm thinking about I'm gonna go down there and see what they got for breakfast because I guess this hotel got breakfast service and shit. So I'm gonna go see what they got for breakfast, and then um, I'm gonna go to the workout room. I'm gonna work out a little bit. Yeah, I'm on vacation, but I'm still getting that fucking work in again. Gotta stay swole. Hold on. This is what I'm recording on. iPhone with it, y'all. This is where all the fall, this is where all the content's coming from. This is where all the content coming from. Damn, I really gotta get my packs back. I really don't got my, I've been, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. 
I have not been working out as much as I used to, as much as I usually should. I'm supposed to be working out my bestie, but we ain't start that yet. Good long time or whatever. But um, me and her gonna start a little workout routine, whatever. We get swell, we get back swell. But I'm finna go down here and get in this gym. Probably try to find some food. And uh, yeah. Um, but I'm here with my boy David. I swear we, I know we just woke up. That's how we just like kind of stagnant, but shit. You finna get some breakfast. See, this shit better be good. I don't even know where that damn place is at. Fuck. These niggas in here getting swole. Got some sweaty chai hearts. We got some people doing breakfast. Ah, uh, here's the breakfast. Let me turn this camera around. Cheese omelet, pork sausage, bacon, sausage, and gravy. Oh man. There's no, there's no waffles and just toast, I guess. Honestly. So I guess I'm gonna bust down this house, but then we can all work out, I guess. Huh? I'm not gonna lie. Hmm? When you smoke a lot of weed, you go on a stoner. You might notice when you'll start getting withdrawals when you don't smoke for a certain period of time. And you'll have an appetite. And part of one of the withdrawals is literally having no appetite and i just hate it like in the mornings it's like it's between a certain period if i don't eat i mean if i don't smoke i won't have no appetite so when i first wake up in the morning sometimes i just do not have an appetite like right now i barely have an appetite but like i can still eat for like another hour or two that bitch gonna be full with no appetite you hear me this nigga swole as hell but Sweating. <laughs> and now though, I usually always start my workouts with cardio. Specifically because cardio gets the blood pumping, gets the blood going, gets you ready, you feel me? Let me see how I look at this. Okay. Um, so basically, after I get my blood pumping and shit, I get the pumping away. And I'm gonna throw this in there. Working out is very more important <laughs> than people think. Yeah, just for not just for looking good and shit like that. It also is a stress a good stress reliever, bro, because look, when you're working out it gives you time to think about yourself and your actions and shit you did and just a lot of crazy shit and when you're working out it gives you a lot of mental strength and shit like that so it does strengthen your mental make you which makes you more able to handle your emotions better so i'm saying like working out working out is a benefit you know what i mean yes you may not have the motivation to do it but it's definitely the move oh yeah pumping them bitches nigga Pumping them bitches, nigga. God, this is the gel curl. 
I'm a prisoner, you know. Ooh, this bitch burn. Forget the sound effects, y'all. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> so the thing is, I want to be built. I want to be swell. I don't want to be like Dwayne Johnson because nigga, he can't even touch his back. <laughs> I want to be like what? Michael B. Jordan type build, you know? It's not too big, but it ain't too small. And I can still touch my back. <laughs> Specifically for the um, pecs, right? Damn. We on go mode. We on go mode, baby. We on go mode. We getting ready. Working out in the morning. This is how you get energized. This is how you get happy. This is how you get your... This is really how you get your emotions flowing. Because, nigga... Hell yeah. If you wake up in your bed all the morning on your phone, like I used to do all the time, you finally get up and you feel so draggy and the day flight is gone. Get up when your mind tells you to. Go work out. Go eat. You're going to be proud of yourself. And that's how you boost your confidence. Because when you do what your mind wants you to do, if, if, you, do what you, or if you do what your mind don't want to do, you're gonna get confidence. Your mind don't wanna wake up and go work out. But you get up anyways and go work out. It's all about that self-discipline. Yes, it, exactly, it builds self-discipline and it builds confidence. Cause whenever you like accomplish little goals and shit like that. Yeah, oh, damn, my bad. Whenever, uh, <laughs> I'm whenever you accomplish little goals and shit like that, it just boosts your confidence. Little goals, like you have like a little to-do list, to list for the day. You do them five things, it boosts your confidence. Little shit like that. One brick by one brick by one brick, eventually it's gonna build a whole wall, right? right. You gotta build the brick by brick by brick, you feel me? But uh. A little bit of motivation for y'all niggas, man. Yeah. Me and my boy Dave are gonna keep getting swole. You know what? Actually, matter of fact, I have a lot of questions of people asking me what's my workout routine when I do the workout. Because at, at one point I was looking really sharp and lean. So, I'm gonna just show y'all what I really do in the gym. Y'all just see what I just did. I'm gonna show you what I do. Um, okay. I usually do 10 sets of each too, how I push myself. So. I swear it makes you mentally stronger, bro, because the endurance and strong will you need to break through some of these workouts are crazy, bro. Like, them niggas be having three plays on these shit. <laughs> Sweat. <laughs> the ab just come nasty because I got fast metabolism. I'm blessed. All right. Go. That boy swole. <clears throat> oh, no. <sighs> You know the crazy part is, I haven't even took my marker, my black seal, or my sea moss yet. And that's usually what give me more push and energy. Sure. <sighs> okay. Um, 
I added this to my workout too. Diamond push-ups. When I first did these, bro, these pushups was like the hardest shit ever. But I can pretty calm pretty good now. These get that chest, this this gets that chest going. Gets that chest pump. Diamond push-up, your hands touch my knees. You go straight into your chest, it should be on your hands, so. <laughs> yeah. One thing I gotta make a habit though is a little tip for working out. You gotta um for a tip for working out, you have to like go slow. Like but work with push-ups, the slower, the more better. I guess it's just it's strengthening the muscles and shit. So I gotta work on going slower. Even Muhammad Ali said, don't count your reps until it burns. So I was like, wow. That nigga's a goat. <laughs> I really wanted to be a hooper. I'll be, I'll be bouncing as well. I know all the bouncing. Like you just, you do this for like a month every day with weights. Hey, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna be bouncing. You're gonna be dunking. I'm gonna burn too. Hell yeah, these bitches burn. This one is the last workout, and it's personally my least favorite because it's it's purposely a full body workout with just using these weights. This is just to say this: if you pump through this with some heavy ass weights, your mind mentally breaks a barrier and lets you know that you are even more than a man you already was, my nigga. It's a full body workout. People don't want to get their full body work so they can add it to their workout routine. <sighs> Shit. <sighs> hey, I'm getting the ceiling. <sighs> My problem is, you have to feet straight in my squat position. This shit is fucking hell, bro. Six. Technique that I had, like I was known for swinging fast. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. We got the fit on. It's almost like even through the night. You feel me? This is the fit for today. Just my little got a little ice on. You know, it's just some. It's just like. Something slight, you feel me? Just feeling good, feeling good about myself. But basically, we finna go to the mall, or whatever. Go ride, go downtown, just get some scenery. I'm gonna get some clips from y'all, some views. You feel me? Because I, believe it or not, I ain't been downtown Tennessee. Because last time I came here, we thought this was a resort, so we didn't go downtown. But now we finna go downtown. I'm gonna probably go to the mall, and <clears throat> I need to give me some cologne because I'm running low on cologne at home. So I'm probably gonna look for some cologne and probably a pair of shoes. I'm low key looking for some CDGs. The um, come on, dig. Garcons, those Converse, I, I'm gotta cop them, bro. So, hope I find some of those at the mall. Um, so yeah, we we gonna just see what it is. We gonna just shop it up, live it up, have fun. You know, we live a life. This is what happens. I'm co-creating my own reality. Like, ever since I really take started taking this seriously, bro, and I started speaking good things into my to my reality, bro. Like, good things just happen. I'm naturally just going with the flow of life traveling when I want to, get money when I want to, spend when I want to, create an empire. I'm creating an empire with my mind. Whoever watching this video right now, I want you to know, bro. Oh, merge this, merge this. I am manifesting this channel to blow up. This channel's going to blow up. This channel's gonna be very successful. And I'm gonna be doing vlogs, Q and A's, still dropping spiritual content, still dropping self-development content. You know what I mean? Like I have a gift where I can spread my wisdom that I've gotten from the divine and 
my, from my experiences. So that, that's what I'm, that's what I'm on here for, bro. Not just for me just to show my personality and show you how I am in my life, but also to get y'all hit, get y'all be better with y'all self, because that's just how I am. Uh, I want this to be a pretty versatile channel. I can't really just like, you know what I mean? I can't do just one thing. Look at that. What is up? So we have just arrived at the mall. I think, what's the name of the mall? Is it Green Hill? Yeah. We at Green Hill Mall. I see Macy's over there, but we're, it's like a parking garage to get into the mall. So like, I ain't never seen nothing like that. So we're gonna see what I can get. I, I definitely need to get some cologne. I need to, I need to get a pair of shoes, maybe outfit. I don't know. We'll see what they got. I'm feeling good, looking good. <laughs> And shit, and if I'm feeling nice, and if I see a bad baddie, a bad bitty, I might start macking on camera for y'all. Next little Mercedes. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I've been seeing hella Mercedes down here, bro. Mercedes and Challengers. This is bad. Hold on. I'm gonna show y'all. Look at this, bro. A blue Challenger, my nigga. That bitch is bad. I'm not gonna lie, bro. My, my my future car is a Tesla, but bro, Challengers been swaving my. Is this a Maserati? This this is a Maserati, bro. This bitch is bad. Just casually sitting in the middle of the mall. A what? Carmen Rivera. It's it's a Rambo's. Those those. Bitch. Hold on, I need to get some good shots. Imagine if I won this. I'll be pushing the fuck out of it. Is it an automatic? Oh, the fucking window things are on the middle of the console. I have never seen no this is this hey Siri ass car. This bitch sweet as hell. <laughs> it's this is so like big. They got the only thing that's pretty much better than this mall than our mall is that they have a damn Gucci store. They got a Gucci store. They got a Louis Vuitton store, Burberry. But man, they don't have like. I'm trying to find some good sneaker places or some shit. Nordstrom, they might have some motherfucking uh, some CDGs, but shit, we got to see, bro. I really hope they do, cause like, I need to cop these CDGs, bro. I, I got to. Like, appreciate that. Let me get you a little smaller bag, okay? Okay. Gotta drop some wax on the product. The product. Mm-hmm. Might smell good to take it very seriously. Essentially. You gotta stay smelling good because that's what keeps the girls on me, you feel me? <laughs> it's just a plus. Um highly recommend this product, bro. It smells amazing. That's crazy. I ain't seen that one cute girl. I mean, I did see a cute girl. She had a nigga. Should have ruined his life, huh? <laughs> Not that type of guy. I have been in a situation before, though. Where I could have took a nigga bitch. But that's just not me, bro. Because I'm a, I'm fond of karma, bro. And I feel like karma goes back in that way, too. If I were to, if I were to cheat on my... If I was to cheat on my bitch, or if I was to... If I was to take a nigga, bitch, I feel like that's what just, that would just happen to me in the future. Like, some way, somehow, like, I'm not going. Like, I already know I can do it, but I'm not going. That karma ain't finna get me. But shit. We got a little bit of stuff out of Nordstrom, you know. Some slight shit. Ain't go too crazy. But, bro, look at the... Bro, it's... This bitch is so bad, bro. Bro, wait, 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 wait. Look at the... Oh yeah, this bitch is nice. I mean, that's a little extra with the spikes, but you know, I guess you gotta love it. Is it really? I was I was looking for the. It's not no S. It's not no. This bitch not no Hellcat. I mean, I guess it still looks good. This right here is my dream car, a Tesla. Believe it or not, in a couple years, y'all finna see this on the channel. Y'all gonna see me going to con. All blacked out, bro. Come on, that bitch is hard, bro. That's all I want. A all blacked out Tesla or all blacked out something, bro. Come on, my nigga. I am. Hey. Y'all finna watch me go up. Y'all finna watch my life change. Just watch. 
This manifesting shit is getting powerful. Easy, man. That'd be all for you. Yeah. 158. He keeps saying, I'll be there in a minute. Okay, well, I still don't know if you got a damn package or not. You being complicated, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Random people be calling, be trying to act like they're the district manager and shit. Like Lame that. as hell. That's just weird as hell. That shit is sweat. You just got your hair done? Huh? You just got your hair done? Uh, yeah. You like it? Yeah, it's looking good or whatever. Don't I gas me up! Look. Appreciate <laughs> 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 it. One. You too. No. That bitch is wet, nigga. <laughs> Bro, look at this big ass building. We downtown Nashville with it right now. I'm not gonna lie, this shit looks amazing. It looks amazing, bro. It looks amazing. I'm trying to get a thumbnail. <laughs> thumbnail. Machine on. But, um,. This 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 car bad, bro. It's cold. Cold. Bro, look at that, bro. These these are Yeah, there's def they're definitely doing something, bro, because those are war choppers, my nigga. Like tennis nigga, tennis they, they got some other shit going on that we don't know about, my nigga. No cap. Fuck okay. it. Waterfall. I ain't gonna lie though. We finna have to go on this bridge over here. We finna have to go on this bridge right over here. They say everybody come to Nashville to get on this bridge, so you know I'm finna have to get on it. No cap. Bro, this building is so fucking huge, bro. That shit is so crazy to me. But um, I'm finna go on this bridge and see what the hype is about because it seems like everybody coming from this motherfucker. No cap. Bro. I'm not gonna lie. Cities with big ass buildings give me like Spider-Man vibes and I just wanna live here. Oh shit. We almost there though. Almost to the bridge. I think just the fact of looking down makes you feel like, whoa. Damn, that's some big shit. Giving me GTA vibes right now. This nigga tipping that scooter, bro. We need a scooter. That's what we need, bro. That's crazy to me. Like, these people actually work on this building. Like, this reminds me of GTA, bro. That's the exact building. They still building it, which is so crazy to me. Not bad. Yeah. In the water? It's a dead body. Bro, why? Yeah, why? Like, no, like, why? <laughs> like, why did you, like, think that? Like, Dump that shit. Oh, shit. Bro, just imagining jumping down there gives me the chills. But, if someone asked me to jump down here for, like, if somebody asked me to jump down there for a million dollars, it would take a hell of courage, but I would do it. Yeah. They talking about down there. Where? Like the little, you don't see that? Oh shit. Yeah, it. Thumbnail, baby. This shit is immaculate. Fuck are you talking about? This is like a godly view. Holy What the? I'm making, I'm making them do it. You want them to stop? All right, here we go. I tell you, now they over there. Now they over there. They swarming everybody. 
say? We can definitely do some block throws. Yeah, look at this, look at it. For sure. I mean, personally, it's a piece of block throws. They got number bars and down here, man. Derek's gonna come around with a tip check, make sure you're nice to him. Give me a break with your haircuts. Hey, it ain't nothing but people. You said what? It's loud as fuck. I don't even know if y'all can hear me, but... Bro, they are deep as hell down here, bro. What the fuck? I ain't even old enough to go in these clubs. Bro, what the fuck, bro? Bro, holy Cannabis car. Cannabis car. Oh shit. She waved at me like she wanted me to wait. Hold on. Trying to buy some weed? What she got in there? Got edibles. Edibles. $30. Alright. Are these raw? Pre rolls. Okay. No, no, no. That's that's a lighter. I know that's pre rolls, ten bucks. Ten? At the strap, the biggest, the most juice. How much? 60 bucks. Okay. It comes with the battery, of course. How much are the pre rolls? 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Uh huh. What are the strains? Are they all different? They're, yeah, it's a hybrid. It's a hybrid. They're all hybrid? Yeah. No sativa? No. They got sativa gummies. Uh, and it was only even getting me high. I don't know why. I know, but my honestly, tolerance is all the way through the fucking these roof. These parts that we have right here don't, fuck, don't get you up. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna need that pre roll though. I like it. I like I, it. I, personally, I like bud more than wax. Yeah. You know, so I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a pre roll. But you like the pre roll? Yeah, dude. I can't. I mean, they, it's a high end nail salon too, bro. It's All not right, a so show. The, oh, damn. Okay. So you can sell like, then. You need a battery. Okay. So you need a part. What kind of part? Third thirty. Just your part. I'm here. Two OGs with it. That's right. Come on, Jimmy. Okay. My cousin right here. <laughs> hey. 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 They realize just let me buy this, bro. 100 milligrams? Yeah, we'll see about that. We'll see about all that. Bro, look at that, bro. That don't make no sense, bro. It's nothing but birds. Heck no, nah, bro. What the heck? She said, let's get in the car. Don't be scared now. This is nature, baby. Bro. Look at this shit, bro. This bitch is bad, bro. This bitch is hard. Oh, that's bad. That bitch had to rev it up. He had to rev it up for me. Hey, that's hard. That's hard. He go. He revved it up for me. I'm fucking. He goes in. Back at the tail, you had to throw in some comfortable shit. Bro, I gotta show y'all this, man. I gotta show y'all. So I already showed y'all this pre-roll, though. Finds, come to terms out, to, it's, it's Delta 8. If you know anything about weed, you know Delta 8 is like, Delta, C says D8. Delta 8 is like, this, like, it's like under, under like Delta 9. Delta 9 is the weed that they sell in the streets, the dispensary, you know, the good shit. Delta 8 is like right under it. Delta 8 is like, you be high for like 30 minutes to an hour, so that's kind of depressing. But luckily, that's not the only weed I bring. I just happened to get lucky enough to, this dude, bro, look, this is what happened. He, he, he has just like a box full of like paraphernalia, my nigga. He got cards, edibles, pre-rolls, lighters. So I'm like, bro, 
Fuck the 80s. Some bitches barely get me high. Fuck the car. That bitch was $60. Not going. He said pre-rolls for 10 Come on now. Bust that down. He asked me for ID. But here was the thing. I said, all right, bet. I went in my wallet. Knowing damn well I had no ID. I didn't know what I was going to do, but I knew I was going to. I don't know. I went in my ID, and then the dude next to him was like, all right, see, when people usually go in their ID, or usually people go looking for it, that means they, they, they have their ID. So we'll just let him go. I, it was crazy as fuck. He's like, we'll let him free. Because, like, we know he got it. Because if he didn't, he wouldn't be going in his wallet. You know what I mean? And I was just like, I don't, I don't know why I went in my fucking wallet. Like, I actually had a fucking ID, but I just did it anyway. You feel me? And they just let me go. You know what I mean? It was just funny because, like, they got off. But I also, wait a minute, where the piece at? I went into this a I went to the corner store, and um, look what we got. A mini bong. Yes, sir. Not the best, but that shit gonna twack when I need it. When I'm out, back at home, that bitch gonna come and clutch. Because, look, if you smoke for real, you're, you know, bro, like, when you down bad and you don't got a lot of tree, and you don't got a lot of tree to roll up, if I got a little bong, my nigga, bro, this bitch gonna come in handy, no cap. I'm just thankful that I was able to do it. I'm glad that I look grown, I guess. Motherfuckers really like when I guess when I ask people to guess my age, people would be like 22. Like I don't got picture hair all the way yet. And niggas be thinking I'm grown. It was supposed to be my demeanor and way I come off, way I look. I guess, but yeah, we gonna probably blow this bitch. Or I might just take this apart and put it. In. Let me see what this bitch is really about. Let me see what it smells like. Let's see what you know what I mean? Cause who knows? It is in good packaging and it's it's legit because they got a website it says a gift from nature cbd.com. So this is a legit like place and site. I'm, I'm, so it kind of sounds like we actually they pearled this motherfucker. <laughs> I guess like dope <laughs> shit. Um, yeah, I might just throw this in the bong, take out, take it out, throw in the bong. Cause we got a whole nother joint roll that we finna blow. And we didn't even get the blow yet. Use coupon free shipping for all. Okay, so it's an actual website. They actually just, they legit, they were just out there promoting their shit. So they got like really CBD products, bait products and shit. See, they, oh, they like hemp. They like hemp and CBD type shit. That's what it is. Cause this package literally says a hemp D8 pre roll. Like, oh, it's hemp. So it's like, damn, we barely finna be here below. That's why, yeah, we got another joint. We good. You know what I'm talking about? Take some bong twacks. There we go, now I'm complete. Got the ice on me, ayy. Should do it with three, ayy. I got the three, ayy, this is just like it. I wanna really start making like clothes. Or like not making clothes, but like just starting my own clothing line. My own clothing line is definitely coming soon. Y'all need to stay tuned for that. I got so many ideas in my brain, so many like things that the universe wants me to do for the channel and my growth. And I'm just gonna just run off intuition. I'm gonna tell you this right now. When you follow your intuition in life, when your first instinct tell you to do something, make that song, call that person, make that deal, and you just do those types of things, like going off a spare of your intuition, you'll notice, bro, your life is gonna be amazing. It's just gonna start going in amazing ways, good ways for you. Because when you follow your intuition, your divine guidance, bro, the universe rewards you, lets you know you're on the right path. So when you get rewarded, you get money, you get prosperity, you get happiness, change is happening in your life. It means something great. That means you're doing something right. You need to keep doing it. Damn, I'm hungry as shit. So this is basically the hotel we were at last time we came out here. It's like a resort-ass hotel. We didn't go here this time. That shit was expensive as shit, nigga. But I guess we came out and look at it again. Ugh. That valet parking got the charger over there. Bro, the lobby is so fucking nice. I remember it looking a little more different than this, though. See, like, if we came here again, bro, man, it's like now it's actually some, some girls are age around this motherfucker. Yeah, they got a family, but I could at least got a, you know what I mean, overnight. It's big as hell though. 
I remember we had a presidential suite. We was up there with it, bro. That shit was crazy. See, if I was vlogging last year, this, that, this, that would've been a fire-ass vlog, too. Ugh. But trust me, I got way, I got a lot of bangers for y'all. Thumbnail looking at the thing is, these are actual plants, like, these are not fake, these are huge, bro. Like, these plants are so huge, like, that's all right. I'm not gonna lie, it's major Benzes out here. But uh we at the mall, another mall with it. We at um wait, what's the name of this mall again? You know Nina? Um Opera Mill Mall. Opera Mill? Okay. We're gonna see what they got in here, see if they got something for the kid to cop. Let's see if they have some CDGs in here, because they didn't have CDGs yesterday. So I am in the Converse store. Looking for some CDGs, bro. They have to have CDGs in the Converse store, bro. If they don't have them in the actual Converse store, then I know something, bro. This shit is crazy, bro. I mean, these are off-white, kind of, but they're not CDGs. Clothes and shit. I'm gonna try on. See what it's hitting on. How look? Boom. Pick this one out. I'm definitely gonna have to cop this bitch. Is hard, nigga. <laughs> see now. There's something about this shirt. It's fire. You see the back? It's sweet, but it's a small. If I can find a medium or a large, and maybe I'll be chilling. But this is just. As soon as I, as soon as I wash this bitch, it's racks. I'm not gonna lie. These jeans look pretty decent. But I don't think I'm gonna cop them. They, they're pretty tight. And like, I like tight jeans, but not too tight. You feel me? Like, I mean, shit. I don't know. Probably really good, though. Shit. This thing was able to find a large, so I'm gonna have to cop. I think I'm gonna just cop these two, though. I think it's the move, no cap. This bitch is raw, hard. Yep, and a cop. Is it really raining right now, my nigga? Hellcat. Sorry. That peep. Vlog ain't peep though. Bro, it's real life raining right now, my nigga. But yeah, you know, we cop, got some shit. Um, I guess we finna head back to the telly. I need to get some more food in my stomach. And we're gonna see what the word is after that. So yeah, we at the pool. Mm-hmm. I know vibes. Now I'm a little depressed because it's not eight feet or seven feet. It's only five feet, so I can't do no sweet shit. But it's still pretty pretty deeper than it's deeper than three feet, so I can't complain. But um next clip y'all gonna see what this motherfucker on. <laughs> do not roast me. Do not. Boom. All right, so, yep, I got it on. We finna hop in the water with it. Get active out here. <laughs> Look, I'm playing some crazy shit, all right? I am getting content for y'all. I'm putting my iPhone 11, my recording camera on the water to get this content for y'all. Like, subscribe, like the video, okay? All right? Let's go.
Oh yeah, so this is uh oh damn, damn. <laughs> <laughs> hey damn. I hope y'all enjoyed that vlog. That'll be it. <laughs> We're gonna wrap it up right there. Um make sure y'all like subscribe share this video because we going up road to 1k. We are going to the top, baby. Uh, trust me and believe me uh -huh. that we manifested abundance, prosperity. But look, I'm out this bitch. I'm gonna move out this game. Peace. Fucking bitches don't no play, yeah, figures. No play, no pitches, no pussy. You don't get no head, nigga. Do you fuck with goopies? Keep tagging these runners, little nigga. You was goofy. You gonna get tagged, nigga. Yeah, you is stupid. Yeah, cause you stupid. So that little bitch, I can't hit you on ruthless. Mm. Damn. So that bitch, you better be toothless. Want the gut. Damn, fuck. <laughs> So that bitch, she better be toothless. When she give me top, <coughs> that bitch better be ruthless. I need my toes curling up in the fucking sheets. Then I'm gonna beat down your back till you can't breathe.